What you do? What's good with y'all boys YouTube? It is your boy Stash Reacts and I'm back with another banger video. In today's video, we have NBA players explain how crazy good Larry Bird was. I was scrolling down my channel and I was looking and I was like, bro, I haven't done a Larry Bird reaction in over a month. That's so disrespectful of me to not do that for Larry the Legend, man. So look, here we are now. If y'all have any more NBA reactions y'all want to see from me, please let me know down below in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe, and let's go ahead and dive straight into the video, man. Once again, we always got to make ourselves super small, man, just so we not taking up the whole video, but let's go. The man from Indiana who gave us an 80s to remember by lighting up a battle between the Celtics and the Lakers will forever be heralded as one of the players who saved basketball. Bird and Magic's coast-to-coast -coast war and jaw-dropping styles gave the NBA the boost it needed before the emergence of Michael Jordan. But That's for right. Bird with three titles, two finals MVPs, and three consecutive MVP seasons, some forget just how good he really was. Today we look at NBA players explaining how crazy good Larry Bird was in his prime. Before we get into all that, if you want to win a PS5 with NBA 2K22 and Madden NFL 22 included, leave a like, comment, subscribe, I and turn Madden. on notifications <laughs> to enter the giveaway. When speaking of the NBA's greatest of all time, there's always 5 or 10 guys that hit the list. Each carries a different generation. From 50s Bill Russell to 60s Wilt Chamberlain or 70s Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, 80s Magic Johnson, 90s Michael Jordan, 2000s Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant, to today's LeBron James. Some get overlooked when they shouldn't, for example Tim Duncan, Facts. and others get left behind because of the lack of titles like Charles Barkley. What happens when all these players talk of another great as if he was like no One other? thing about now that really interests me is how big men like centers they play like guards now like a lot of them got like good jump shots but you know back during this time these big men were like so like the best post players ever they were stronger you know they weren't soft bro like joel let's let's compare joel Embiid and like hakeem aljuan you know joel can shoot like he can shoot the mid he can shoot the three he can handle the ball you even see big men bringing the ball up the court which is crazy like you got Wemby, for example that's insane to me how much basketball is evolving now other larry bird was lauded by most of these legends because he was one of them too he was consistent tough offensively masterful and one of the first big guys to shoot many three-point shots lebron james spoke candidly in an interview about how he was one of the few guys ever to win a three-point contest with a warm-up shirt on lebron referring to the time larry won his third consecutive three-point contest james continued for young guys that don't know him you know they, they think of larry bird as a jump shooter uh, but he was so much more than he was a passer. The average double. Before I started watching Larry Bird, Larry Bird videos, that's what I knew Larry Bird for. I never watched anything at all about him, but I knew he could shoot. That's all I knew. But after watching these videos, that has completely changed my perspective. This man is a GOAT. He can do it all, bro. He's tough. He can shoot, dribble, pass, do whatever you need him to do. He's a dog, bro. And I wish I would have had this same perception when I was younger, but... It's good that I have it now, and I'm saying younger like I'm still not young, but, man, it's just crazy to think about. LeBron's telling the truth. For young guys that don't know him, you know, they, they think of Larry Bird as a jump shooter, uh, but he was so much more than he was a passer. He averaged double-digit rebounds. Um, he definitely took charges. And, um, Dog. you know, he's a straight-up complete basketball player, and me as a small forward. Later in his career, LeBron adapted his game to the new way of basketball, which was a charge led by the Golden State Warriors in shooting more from behind the arc. LeBron was considered a big guy, but began shooting more threes and no doubt was heavily influenced by the fact that Larry Legend had already achieved this feat in the 80s. Yep. In another interview, when asked about his top three of all time, LeBron put Larry Bird firmly in there with MJ and Dr. J. Oh my God, three, uh, uh, yeah, Larry Bird, Dr. J. Michael. Shaq had a very different opinion on Larry initially. He said he disliked Bird because he was. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'll get an ad blocker soon. I promise. He was jealous. He thought, how could this regular looking guy do everything? Never really had a chance to play against Larry Bird, but I, I actually used to hate Larry Bird. I, 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 I hated him. Shaq soon realized as he grew older and wiser that despite getting the luck of the Irish with the Celtics, Larry made his own luck when it came to shooting the ball. Shaq, at 7'1", of course, had a completely different style of game yeah. at the time. He was built to the max and used brute force to impose his will on the defense and rack up the points, blocks, and rebounds. Shaq was also faster than most give him credit for, particularly in the early part of his career. The the now the magic with a final shot chance. He's Odeo moving! Bird was notoriously slow, which was all the more testament to his skill set, but his basketball IQ was just on a different planet. 
He once sank a shot from behind the backboard, which O'Neal. Please stop saying Larry Bird was slow. He was just a little bit slower than the people who were in the league with him because he was playing with some of the greatest athletes of all time, bro. If, if you put Larry Bird against any other normal person who's sitting their ass in their room right now reacting to this video during the time he was in the league, he's going to run circles around him. This man used to run marathons. He's very athletic. He can pace himself, bro. Like, it ain't all about being the fastest. He Stop labeling him slow. That makes me mad. He's not slow at all. He's not slow. Bird was notoriously slow, which was all the more testament to his skill set. But his basketball Gosh, IQ was just bro. on a different planet. He once sank a shot from behind the backboard, which O'Neal chalked down to a fluke following a bet with his friend. Sam Vincent to Bird, and it goes That's in. crazy. Shaq never really got the chance to play against Larry Bird, which is unfortunate, because I don't think it would have taken him so long to recognize greatness. On the other hand, six-time NBA champion Kareem Abdul-Jabbar battled Bird on numerous occasions while playing with the Showtime Lakers. Yeah, Scott Bird got the better crazy. of him in the 1984 Finals, and took another two in a decade that was largely dominated by the purple and gold. Kareem spoke about how Larry might have been the best he had played against Ooh. and said, How good was Michael Bird? Jordan? People, I don't think people, people, people look at him and think, yeah, oh, he's a white guy, guy, slow guy. He's chubby white guy, he <laughs> wore us out, man. you know? Because he just... This was this muscle here, the one between his ears. Yeah, that was his best, you know, because he, he made the three points and he Sit had assists down. and rebounded, steals. He was always at the right place at the right time on the court. You know, one of the great players. I, you know, I, I had the opportunity to play against. Eleven-time All-Star Charles Barkley, a regular season MVP during a star-filled '90s, was once asked, "Are you better than Bird?" And he took a long pause before answering, which is very telling. Mm, Am I better mm -mm. than Bird? Nope. Oh, man, that's a great question. Most great players respond immediately with how they think they're the best because you have to have that kind of mentality in order to get to the top. Instead, Barkley answered, I'm a better rebounder. I'm probably a better defender. He's a better shooter, obviously. You know, a, a lot of people talk about who's better. But you have to think, you have to have that mentality. No, no, you know, you, you know, you know. Uh, like, I, if, I think, you know, it's, it's a team game. I think it's always good to have that mentality, but it's also very good to tell the truth as well. I've never watched Charles Barkley highlights or don't know anything about him. I, besides hearing that he was a, an 11-time All-Star, I haven't watched any videos on him or seen any documentaries on him, so... I don't know, but I don't hear him being discussed as much as Larry Bird. I don't see people walking around with no disrespect to Charles Barkley at all. But I don't see people walking around with um, Charles Barkley jerseys on. Maybe I've seen one person with one on. But after I saw jump around, I seen all those people wearing those uh, Larry Bird jerseys. They just went to let me know that this dude is really the the real deal. Like seriously, it ain't even about wearing a jersey. It's skill wise. I mean, he's one of the greatest players of all time. I've heard about Charles Barkley plenty of times, but Larry Bird is just that guy. He's him. And if you had to sit there and pause and think on that, then even you know that you're not better than him. Think you have to have that mentality. No, no, you know, you know, you know. You know. Uh, like, I, if, I think, you know, it's, it's a team game. I think deep yeah. down he knew that Bird was a better player. And for someone as good as Chuck to be stumped like that in an interview shows you how heavy the weight of Larry Bird's legacy was. Former teammate Kevin McHale also references how unreal Bird was to play with. McHale was Bird's right-hand man while playing with Boston, claiming the Sixth Man of the Year award twice, along Ooh. with seven All-Star appearances. His story of a specific Detroit game is fascinating. There was a bit of time left on the clock and we had beaten Detroit and I just scored 56 and I'm walking off the court and Larry said, where are you going? I said, I'm done. I said, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. Larry goes, don't do it, man. Cause when I get that hot, I'm not coming out of the game. A week later, he got that hot. He looked at me at about 50 points and he looked at me and said, I told you. Dang. The pair would go on to win three titles together. And McHale would continue to tell stories that live on in Celtics folklore forevermore. A highlight being a throwback from Bird's brutal trash talk at a game in Phoenix. We have a play, out of bounds play. I'm taking it out. And, so um, he was leaving the arena after he had scored 56 points. I guess Larry Bird is one of those players who sticks around and he continues to practice, develop his game, even no matter how many points he scores in the game, which I can see that. So 
to do that the very following next week that that's crazy that's literally insane to tell stories that live on in celtics folklore forevermore a highlight being a throwback from bird's brutal trash talk at a game in phoenix we have a play out of bounds play i'm taking it out and um larry says i'm gonna bust off the play and i'm just gonna come out and i'm gonna shoot a three and i'm like we're down two i'm like no, don't do that. Like, just, let's shoot it too, please. Go to the hole, try to get fouled. Let's just get into overtime, see if we can't win this game. And Larry says, no, nah, I'm just going to bust a three on him. <clears throat> I'm like, oh, my gosh. So he tells us, tells the Phoenix bench, um, <laughs> tells the coaches, yeah, I'm just fixing to bust a three on you guys and just go home. I'm tired of this. <laughs> and he gets the ball, jumps out, busts the play, comes out, gets the ball to slot, shoots the ball. As the ball's in the air, he kind of turns towards the Phoenix bench and yells, Told you so! <laughs> Larry's mental game was such that he could just open up any team and tear them apart. He would use psychological warfare on a regular basis. <laughs> Players speak of his toughness not because of his size or physicality, but because of his mind. He would impose his will on the opposition and could force them off their game just as much as he could switch on his. A mastermind at trash talk tactics, Larry Bird will forever go down in history as one of the greatest trash talkers of all time. And in the 80s, that mattered. With players such as Bill Lambier, Hakeem Olajuwon, Magic Johnson, and the eventual emergence of Michael Jordan, Bird did what was necessary in order to gain that mental edge that took him over the top. And that's something you're born with. You James Worthy, just... the 1988 Finals MVP, simply stated that Larry was trash talking all the time, but the problem was he could back it up. Yeah, he, he could back it up. So, uh, <laughs> when you're arrogant and you can back it up, you're not arrogant, you're just good. And, uh, and Larry was good. Even Warther's former teammate Magic Johnson spoke on the fact that he had a real dislike for Larry Bird as far back as their college playing days for the very reason that Larry would constantly get the better of him. Johnson claimed in a recent interview during a press build-up for the Broadway play about the pair that after he beat Larry in the NCAA championship game in 1979, the most watched college basketball game ever, by the time he got to the Lakers, they were 0-8 and eight to the Celtics. You had to hate the Celtics. Sell to millions of people online with Shopify social media ad, and marketplace integrations. To beat them because when I got here, we were 0-4, I think 8 and then the first time against the Celtics in the in championship series, and then we lost that in 84. That made us 0 for 9, I believe. And later is quoted as saying, when I played, Larry Bird was the only one I feared. Not bad when hearing it from a five-time champion and one of the true great basketball players of all time. That's facts. At the 2019 NBA Awards, Johnson received the NBA Lifetime Achievement Award, but it was shared with, guess who? Larry Bird. Bird was simply the king of talking the talk, then actually going out and walking the walk. Listen, man. Retirement is great for you because you've never talked this long. <laughs> Dominique Wilkins recounts one of the most famous games where Larry Bird mm. promised Kevin McHale he was going to break McHale's record against Atlanta. Wilkins said, You got so hot <laughs> in that game that you talk about that patented step back. He was doing that step back and he switched it to his left hand three separate times in that game. He hit a three. He was scoring anywhere on the floor that Ooh, he wanted. Is this when the I mean, bench was, was giving each other five? The bench was giving each other five. So did you get in a fight with them after the game? Forget, forget Larry. Did you beat anybody on the bench this way? You're giving five. He's scoring on me. Yes. Every one of those Yo, guys my got fined three thousand. Oh, okay. <laughs> Larry's legend lives on because of the greats that want to tell them. The reason there's a list of top 10 players who consistently call Bird their toughest opponent Ooh, or one of their all-time greats man. is because Larry himself is in that list. Larry is a top 10 baller of all time. His style doesn't matter when oh. his skill sinks the opposition. Because above all, the opposition will remember. They'll remember the steals, the shots, the clutch plays, and the trash talk. They'll remember the bird from the early 80s, not from the early 90s. The Larry who stepped out on the court in his warm-up jacket and made Michael Jordan recoil in envy. MJ announced, oh, He took off his top yet. Yeah, no, yeah. I see what he took off his top. Well, when Bird did, it was all business. He may as well have taken a mop and bucket to the floor because he was about to clean up. He was an impetuous and never relenting opponent that took the life from anyone who stepped onto his battlefield. Impetuous. The consensus is a resounding stamp of legendary status for the man who will forever go down in the history books as one of the greatest ever players, and arguably the greatest ever Celtic to grace the court. What did you think of Larry Bird in his prime? What the stats think of Larry Bird in his prime? Give Larry Bird his respect. He is a GOAT. He is a, a GOAT. I don't I don't have one code, bro. I just can't do it. But I do believe in multiple players being, you know, just great players. We shouldn't just center it around one person, which is what they do. Now they always argue about LeBron and Michael Jordan, but where is Larry Bird in that conversation? And like I said, I don't like this guy saying that 
um, Larry Bird was just slow. He could have said slower than some other players, bro. But I'm telling you, if the guy who made this video went up against Larry Bird in the race, I bet you Larry Bird would beat him. I bet you. He, he's not slow at all. He's a quick thinker. He's, you know, instant reflexes. That's fast. We're not going to just say quick thinking. We're going to say he's fast. He's fast-minded. He can pass the ball good. He can rebound. He always knows where to be. That's that's being fast. You know what I'm saying? Because you can be fast. You can also be physically fast, but also slow here. So how can you be overall fast if you're slow in your brain? You know what I'm saying? But, man, shout out to Larry Bird, bro. Uh, I, I really respect his game. And I did not know he beat Michael Jordan in a three-point contest without even taking off his warm-up jacket or warm-up suit that is insane i have to watch that three-point contest for real if y'all want to see that video please let me know let me know if y'all want to see other legends like i saw something about james worthy if y'all want to see more michael jordan videos uh kareem hakeem aljawan anybody like that please let me know in the comment section uh, let me know what y'all think about this video let me know what y'all think about my reaction and everything if you made it this far comment hashtag larry bird gang in the comment section stacks reacts is out of here peace and also one more thing before i dip out the only reason i haven't been doing larry bird reactions is because i had to reset my pc i had so much clutter files and everything on here i had to completely reset it so i wasn't able to record long videos because i only had like 700 megabytes of space which is only like two videos realistically recorded and edited so just wanted to let y'all know that, but I reset my PC. Everything's good now, so we can bring these longer videos consistently, okay? Stacks Reactions out now. Peace.